covered in chocolate, it's covered in sweets, it's covered in every sort of treat. This is a story about being safe. This is a story about being secure. But be careful of the internet. And not making friends there until you're sure. Until you're absolutely sure. Once there was a little boy and once there was a little girl. They were in the middle of a deep, dark forest. Night was falling fast. And they couldn't find their way home. They were as lost as lost can be. Oh, Hansel. Oh, Gretel. We can't stay here. Ha! Huh, I'm not scared. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> well, maybe a lot. Come on, Hansel. Being scared isn't going to help us. There must be a house or something around here. Perhaps they can show us the way home? <laughs> What's that? It's my phone. It's some sort of message. Perhaps it's from someone we know. Someone who could help. We better have a look then. If you want some shelter tonight, follow the light, follow the light, follow the light that's burning bright. Follow, follow the light. Follow the light? What light? That's very strange. Who's it from? I don't know. Don't be afraid, help's in sight. Follow, follow the light. Hold on a sec, Gretel. There's a light over there. I can see it too. It's a house. And what a house. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Come and nibble at my house. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go and have a look. And freeze! Oh no. What's the palace? It's frozen. What's frozen? The story I was watching. It just got to a really exciting bit as well. What's the story? It's Hansel and Gretel. They're lost in the woods and I've just had a message from a stranger. Can't they tell anyone? There's no one there to tell. Can't anyone help them? There's no one there to help. Oh dear, that's not good. And now it's frozen. Oh! Oh, well, there's a nice welcome. I don't suppose you know anything about iPads, do you? Know about iPads? I've got an iPad. Didn't know that. I certainly have. There you go. My iPad. Get it? I pad. Barry, you are stupid sometimes. That's because he's got a stupid name. Barry Garlo. Yeah, yeah, I know. Barry Garlo, Gary Barlow. Take that. Ow, what did you do that for? Take that. Like the group. Get it? <sighs> like I've never heard that before. Only for the past nearly 11 years. Wicked sense of humour my dad's got. <sighs> Not. Can somebody please do something about my iPad? What's the matter with it? It's frozen. Oh, would it like to borrow my scarf? Look, I just got to a really interesting bit in the story and it's just stopped working. What story is that then? It's Hansel and Gretel. Boring. Who wants to watch a silly old fairy tale? Who wants to watch a story for little kids? Actually, I think you'll find it's quite exciting. Like how? Two kids lost in the woods. Silly kids. And they don't know where they are. Well, they should have taken them up then. And they find a mysterious house. Nothing mysterious about a house. With a witch in. Who's scared of a silly old witch? <gasps> a witch that eats kids. Okay, now that does sound interesting. Can somebody fix my iPad or not? Have you tried switching it off? And then switching it back on again? Okay. Anyway, we can't hang about. We're going to see. Going to see what? Not going to see, going to see. Because we're pirates. See? Why are you being pirates anyway? Because we are! See you later, my hearties. Arr! Get far today. Why are we not? Because it's tea time. See you at school tomorrow, Alice. See you, Lottie. Meanwhile, back in the forest. Wow. Now that's what I call a house. I've never seen a house made of sweets before. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. Eh? Gingerbread balls. 
I see sugar windows. A chocolate door handle. I, I don't like this Hansel. What's that to like? Come on. Why not try some gingerbread? Just a little slice. One small bread won't make you sick. It's very, very nice. Mmm. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who's that nibbling at my house? Who's that? It must be the woman that lives here. That's right, my dears. I'm a poor old woman who lives on her own, all alone in this sweet little house. I'm so sorry we were eating Not it. Not at all, little girl. You are a little girl, aren't you? I can't see very well, I'm afraid. Yes, miss, I am. And I'm a boy. Yes, you are. Quite a greedy little boy, I think. Or maybe you're just hungry. Oh yes, miss. I really am hungry. You don't want to be eating my house, do you? It's been outside for goodness knows how long. Why don't you come in? There's lots more inside. Freshly baked and as sweet as a sugar plum. Oh, uh, thank you very much. You're very kind. But I don't think we should really be going into a stranger's house. She's not a stranger. She's just a little old woman who lives in a cottage made of sweets. What's strange about that then? Exactly. So come along children, the door's wide open. Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Dad. I just got to a really scary bit of the story. So everything's OK, then? Yes, everything's fine. Only you can come across some pretty scary things on the internet. You would tell us if you did, wouldn't you? Of course I would. Remember what we always tell you? Look both ways on the internet highway. I am being careful. Honest, Mum. Honest, Dad. I am. Don't be on for too much longer, will you? School in the morning. And, and stay safe. safe. I will. Anyway, it's on a computer and I am in my own house. What could go wrong here? Hello. I've just had a message. I hope it's not one of those horrible ones that Chloe had at school. Oh no, not again. Hello, Chloe. Stupid Chloe. Horrible Chloe. Chloe, no, mates. We, we know, know where you live. We know where you are. You can as fast as you like, but you won't get far. Who is this? Who keeps sending these? Could be anybody, Chloe. After all, everybody hates you. Everybody. Everybody! Are you right, Chloe? Yes, miss. You shouldn't really have that phone at school, you know. No, miss. Sorry, miss. You sure everything's all right? Everything's fine, miss. You know, you can always tell me if you've got a problem, don't you? No, you can't! You can't tell anybody! Yes, miss. Thank you, miss. So long as you're sure. Bye, Chloe. We'll be back tomorrow. We know, we know where, where you live. We know where you are. You can as fast as you like, but you won't get far. Because I can't turn. It's not allowed. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Philip. You don't seem very happy. Well... You've been getting messages, haven't you? A bit. So tell a teacher. I can't do that. Of course you can. I did. Anyway, it's them that are in the wrong, not you. It's cyberbullying. Come on, we'll sort it. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to go to the teacher. I think I would. I hope I would. Anyway, let's have a look at this message. Hello. Hello. Do I know you? Not yet, but you will soon, if you want to. Who are you? I'm your new friend. I don't know if I want a new friend. Oh, you'll want me as a friend. I'm fantastic. All right, then. What's your name? Me? You can just call me friend. Oh, hello, friend. And what's your name? Me. I'm a L. And click. Let's stop right there, shall we? That was close, wasn't it? Good job, I'm here. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? I'll give you a clue. Whiskers, pointy ears 
and a long tail? You're a mouse. Correct. And now another clue. Left, right and click. You're a computer mouse. Double click at your service. You nearly made a big mistake then. How? What is it they tell you at school? Don't talk to strangers. And what were you doing? Talking to a stranger? But that was only on a computer. It wasn't real. And what did the stranger ask you? He asked me my name. Oh. That sounds pretty real to me. You see, Alice, the great thing about computers is that they can take us anywhere. Look at the things we can find out about on a computer. History. Science. Geography. Math. Oh. It's a great help in my homework. Magic for music. Fab for films. Great for games. Cool for chat. Super for social networking. It's a great way of talking with my mates. OK. All of that's true. But talking of mates and talking of games... Hello! It's Barry Garlo. Oh, yes. Nice guy. Shame about the name. Oh, I've completed all the levels on my candy game. Oh, I wish there was another one. Oh, but there is, Barry. There is. Just come online and join the fastest growing game on the internet. It's Sweetie Smash. It's covered in candy, it's covered in sweets. It's covered in every sort of treat. It's covered in candy, it's covered in sweets. It's covered in every sort of treat. Sweetie Smash, it takes gaming to a whole other level. Cool. Thanks, girls. Watch you, Gary. What are you doing? I'm only playing the greatest game that's ever been invented. Wow, that sounds too good to be true. You'll be there quicker than you think. All you've got to do is... Click that link! Are you sure about this, Barry? It might be worth checking it out first. Are you kidding? I might never find this again. And click! <laughs> well, something's happening. It's just downloading the game, that's all. That doesn't look like a game to me. It's covered in cookies, it's covered in red, it's covered in every sort of gem. Like I said, it takes gaming to a whole other level. I thank you. Oh no, what have I done? You, my friend, have got a computer virus. But I don't want a virus. I just want a new game. I told you, you should have checked. Come on. Woe is me, woe is me. I've got a virus on my PC. Serves you right, Barry Garlo. Take that. Oh no. So now Barry Garlo's let something or someone inside his computer. Just like you very nearly did with your new friend. Thanks, double click. That's all right. Anyway, you and your computer have had a very busy day. I think it's time you both went to sleep. Uh, you click. Yeah, all right, double click. See you in the morning. Oh, she's gone. No, she hasn't. She's just going to sleep. I don't blame her. Sleep tight. See you in the morning. Actually, I might just watch a couple more minutes. Meanwhile, in the middle of a deep, dark forest... In a house made of gingerbread, sweets and other tasty treats... Hansel and Gretel were locked up in a cage... And a witch stopped round in a terrible rage... And, and you, you know, know what happened next... Too right, too true... The blight has set a trap... They tricked me into the oven and shut it with a terrible... And I'm furious, absolutely boiling... But don't think they're safe... They're not at all. They're still in the forest and night's about to fall. Plus, at least there's something I can do, like send a nasty message or two. <laughs> well, that's her gone. I hope so. <gasps> oh, no. What is it? It's a text. A nasty little text. I know where you're hiding. I know where you are. You don't know where you're going. So you won't get far. <laughs> it's like the ones kids get at school. That's really horrible. Not only is she a witch, but she's a bully as well. So what would you do if you got one of these at school? Don't know. Tell the teacher, I suppose. Well, that's what we'll do then. Do it tomorrow, when we're back home. But how do we get home? 
Two little children in a forest all alone. Two little children, how can they get home? We need help. But who can we ask? Who's safe? What about him then? He's probably all right, but we can't be sure. So who's safe? Come on, children. Come on, Mum. What about her then? She looks pretty safe to me. Excuse me. And click. You see, Alice, sometimes you might need to ask for help. And sometimes you might need to ask a stranger. So why did they choose the woman and not the man? Well, think about it. The man was on his own. Like Gretel said, he's probably all right, but it's best not to take the risk. So he might not have been a safe stranger? Exactly. But the woman had her children with her, didn't she? So she was a safe stranger. You catching on, mate? Look, you know now from the story that they get home safely. So shall we let them go now? That would be nice. And click and close. You're very clever, double click. Not really. I'm just a mouse. But I do know how important it is to be careful wherever you are. Hello. I've just had another message. I don't know who it's from, though. I think I do. Hello, Al. I think they've got the wrong person. They want to speak to Al. I'm not Al. Hold on a minute, Alice. I think I get this. Get what? Think back to last night. Remember that person who was trying to say hello? On the computer? Yes, I did. And you started to type your name? Yeah, but I only got as far as A and Al. Oh. Are you there, Al? I think we've met this person before, don't you? It's me again, your new friend. Well, go on then, double click. Dear stuff, get rid of them. We could do that, but we're going to do something else. Like what? You ought to tell someone. I am. I'm telling you. No use telling me who's going to listen to a mouse. Especially a computer mouse. Give your mum and dad a shout. Should we close this down first? Absolutely not. You leave that where they can see it. Well, go on, call them. Mum, Dad, come quick. Are you right, Alice? What's going on? Aren't you going to talk to me, Al? Look. I'm glad you told us about this, Alice. And this is what we're going to do. I'll just take the mouse. Hey, that tickles. Ow, ow, ow. And click and click again. Don't do this to me, Al. And there. And click. Now we've got a picture. What do you need a picture for? Well, we might be able to find out who this person is. And stop them from bothering anybody else. Phew, we're glad you told us about this, Alice. It wasn't me. It was the mouse. Shh! Do you know what? And if anyway, you're right. Anyway, your friends are here. Hi, Alice. You coming out? <coughs> What's the matter with you, Barry? Oh, I've got a virus. Yes, a computer virus. Are you coming out, then? Is it all right? Of course it is, love. You go and enjoy yourself. You have a good time and take care. Well, I've had an adventure. What sort of adventure? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's go play football. That is an excellent idea. Hey, Mary Gallo. What? Take that. Oh, no. <coughs> Computers are fantastic. They take you everywhere. There's information, music, films. And games that you can share. They help you with your homework. They let you chat with friends. Through emails you receive. And messages that you send. Laptops, tablets, mobile phones, you can use them anywhere. But although they are amazing, you do need to take good care. So please enjoy the internet. And have a brilliant time. But be careful who you talk to. And keep it safe.